sexy. I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm filming on my phone because I forgot my vlog camera. But it is Monday morning. It is nine-ish, just after 9 a.m. I'm having some oxy shred. I'm having the raspberry flavor today. I didn't put very much water with it, so it's very like strong. Oh, that's so good. We have quite a packed jam-packed week this week i think i have something on every single day today i'm so excited because at one o'clock i'm gonna have a psychic reading with readings by joey so we're gonna do that over facetime i'm so so excited i know it's not everyone's cup of tea but i'm very very curious i've never had a reading before done by anyone like not even you know when you go to like the markets and there's people there like i've never had anyone tell me anything so i'm very excited i'll be sure to show you guys that after the gym i'm gonna go to the supermarket just to grab a few bits and pieces tomorrow i'm getting my hair done because i've got a shoot on saturday which i'm super excited for wednesday i think i'm getting my brows done i love getting my brows laminated and then thursday will be lash lift and then friday i think it's the only day at this point in time that i don't have anything on we're gonna get some good content but yeah i'm so so excited for my reading i've just got my bcaa's i definitely haven't been adding like a full scoop like a full scoop just seems like so much. Tomorrow I won't be going to the gym, obviously, because I'll be getting my hair done. And then Thursday I probably won't go either, which I feel like is kind of be good so I can have like a bit of a rest this week. I think I need to give myself more rest days than I have been. I hope you guys are excited for this weekly vlog. This is weekly vlog number 20, I think. 20 weeks in a row. That's insane. Wow. I've decided to make oats today. Literally just to switch it up. I'm gonna add in some egg whites to make them really fluffy. I've seen people do this. I just hope they don't like cook because it's hot. Add in some blueberries. It's kind of like the same effect as when I used to put cottage cheese in there. You can add uh, protein powder as well, but I thought I would just Keep it plain today. And then I'm gonna add some maple syrup. I have not had oats so long. I'm gonna go into my app. And so click end fast, save fast. Let me actually try this because I haven't, oh gosh, I just got back from the gym. I spilled it on my shirt, but you know, I'm actually the worst. I'll talk to you guys probably when I get my readings. I'm very, very excited. Okay, so I'm so sorry for the amount of times that I changed my outfits. It kind of annoys me in my videos every time. Like I changed my freaking outfit three times a day, I swear to God. I got in a package from Wish Trend, which is a website that sells a lot of different skincare brands. And they particularly have a lot of Korean skincare, which I used to be obsessed with Korean skincare because it's honestly so amazing for your skin. Korean skincare is no joke. So we have a few goodies. Um, it's currently quarter past 12, so my reading is in 45 minutes. One thing that's really good about Korean skincare is it doesn't dry out your skin. It's got a lot of oils and essences that aren't. This is the Claire's Freshly Juiced Vitamin Drop. Vitamin C is amazing for acne scars. I'm very excited for this. This is the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence. It's uh, sunscreen, but it's going to be super lightweight and not like thick feeling. I'm very particular about my sunscreens. I love the... What's it called? I'll pop it on the screen. That's my favorite moist um, sunscreen at the moment. So this is what this one looks like. So it says everyday sun protector, SPF 50, water-based gel texture, which is what drew me in. Smells, rub it in. That feels so nice. Very, very lightweight and smooth feeling. Keen to give that a go because sunscreen is super important, especially in Australia. Do I have a bump in my hair? Yes, I do. We've got quad active boosting essence. And then I've got this Claire's Midnight Blue Calming Cream. I've used this before and I really, really like it. So I'm very excited to give everything a go. I need to like research like how to use them because I'm silly. A lot of fermented products, which is super good for your skin as well. Fermented honey and black tea. Stay tuned to see me use some of the skincare in future videos. I'm just drinking some water with one of the X50 um, like energy drink sachets in there. 
I really need a drink of water. I'm gonna set up my laptop in here, I think, to do the reading just because it's like a nicer background. <laughs> okay, so I've just got my laptop kind of set up here because we're gonna like FaceTime. I'm probably not gonna put Joey on camera to see what she's comfortable with, but you guys probably hear her voice, what we talk about. So, oh, I'm really nervous now and I'm like, oh. Like, I know it's not gonna be bad, but I've just never had anything done like this before. Like, I am spiritual. Like, I very much believe in, like, manifestation, the law of attraction, like, all that putting putting out into the universe, you get back in, that type of thing. And then, yeah, I really believe in astrology, birth chart, and moon sign, rise. Like, I'm, yeah, I'm just very excited, very curious. We'll see how this goes. Ooh! Yeah, absolutely. You, yeah, don't feel like you have to hold back or anything like that. That's all good. All right. So with all of the, uh, ooh, okay. You've got someone that's just dropped in too, but I'll get to them in a moment. <laughs> Firstly, I want to go into the mental health and well-being and then health and well-being. Mm -hmm. I feel like you are someone, and obviously with what you do, you give a lot to other people. I'm getting a lot of you not taking enough time out for yourself. It's almost as if like you are taking on so much and then not realizing that you're taking on so much and then you'll find yourself feeling quite um, let down uh, or not let down but you know you're feeling just overwhelmed with having so much but you are very good at not showing it. And I feel like what this first lot is saying is to really start pulling back and taking that time for yourself and making sure that you give yourself that time to be able to really just let yourself go and have that time that you need to settle so you're not always so overworked and overwhelmed. Yeah. I also like to cover fertility um, and you do actually have two boys coming through. Um, I'm making a prediction that two children are coming through. Uh, they're not going to be twins, so they will be individual children. However, there are two boys coming through around 2 to 2.5 years apart from each other. Um, and I think the first one is I'm going to predict is around 20, 25. Mm -hmm. So the option is there if you want to have these children. Um, I feel like they will be both conceived naturally. So I don't feel like there's going to be um, any issues with fertility or any issues of having these children or becoming pregnant or anything thing like that mm -hmm. um, but definitely that five number is there so I don't know if they're potentially one of them will be born on the fifth or in the fifth month but the number five is very um, significant as well okay I also feel like I have a loved one coming through it feels like a grandparent figure but it's not a grandparent it's more down the line of like say great grandparent okay um, I don't know if you know them very much but I'm getting a lot of it's not an Australian background and I'm trying mm -hmm. to put my finger on where it is, but there's a lot of green color or a lot of, it's almost as if like I'm in, in the hills or something and there's animals around. I'm just trying to pinpoint where it is. So the name of this person starts with an N, but then the other place starts with N too. So I'm going to put my, my finger on New Zealand. Do you have a New Zealand background? I do. My dad's from New Zealand. Yeah. I am feeling he's coming through a lot. I'm just trying to get this name. I am getting a nickname. I feel like it's a nickname. I don't feel like this was his exact name, mm -hmm. but I'm getting N, E, and V, or Nev, or something to do with N, E, V, or something along those lines on your dad's side. It's more of a great grandparent um, type figure or someone grandparent related. I don't know if it's from your dad's side or if there's someone definitely from this New Zealand background. <clears throat> Um, but he's definitely there, and I don't know why, but I feel like he's coming through today. Just to pass on a couple of messages of, um, you know, really trying to take that time out for yourself. And also, he's bringing through a lot about relationships with other people. So there's an option for a soulmate relationship to come through, which is can be either an intimate relationship or it can be a friendship relationship. Mm -hmm. But I feel more so that he's bringing through the intimate relationship. I feel like there's an opportunity coming around about new year i'm probably going to say no later than april may next year where an opportunity with a guy who's around two two to three years older than you is going to come through okay i feel like he is someone who works really hard 
works really hard with his hands. I feel like he builds houses or has something to do with houses and likes to travel a lot, experience the world. And I feel like you'll have a lot of similar interests, but there's a relationship opportunity there for you if you wish. He seems like a lovely person. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like family is everything to you as well. You're very close with your family. Yes. Um, and I feel like he is going to be very close with you guys as well. And he's going to fit really well into that family picture i feel like this new person that's coming in it, it's almost as if like he's going to see you as the queen of everything and he's really going to put you up on that pedestal and look out for you and love you and care for you and you'll know he's the one as soon as you meet him and i feel like your family will know that too and i feel like this person is extremely genuine i feel like he does have um tattoos or there's something specific or distinctive about a tattoo on his right arm mm. um i don't know if tattoos are something that you like on a guy but he seems really nice. Um, I feel like he, he works out. He likes to keep himself trim. He likes to look after himself. Brown hair, or I get a lot to do with brown, short brown hair. Working in, a, working in some sort of trade, but building houses specifically. Building mm -hmm. houses for people are having some sort of something to do with the housing sort of part of trade. Okay. I don't know if you're one of two, but I'm getting one of two and I'm also getting uh, a younger brother. Yep. I feel like he is in a relationship with someone right now and I also feel like this, I don't know why this is coming through, but I feel like this could be his forever person if he wishes. Okay, wow. Even though obviously travel is restricted right now, I do see a lot of travel for you too. I actually feel like around 2022, I actually feel like a, and again, I'm going to say business, a business opportunity is going to open up for you where you may actually be able to venture to another country to expand yourself a bit more. I don't know if you've ever thought of this before, but there's something or an opportunity that's opening up for you in America. Um, potentially LA where you may be able to branch or do a collab with someone over there that's quite well known. Okay. Um, they wow. are going to reach out to you. The world card comes out and every time I see the world I like to remind people that the world is their oyster so remember that everything that you have created you have started yourself, you have started from scratch, you have really built yourself up to where you are now and you should really be proud you are the king of your reality you have created everything from scratch also i get a lot about um chakras are like i don't know if you know what they are but they're like little um wheels of energy that are in our in our bodies mm -hmm. obviously you can't see them but they are wheels of energy that basically like filters um they filter in and then they filter out and a lot of people know about them but they can really affect our emotional and physical well-being i'm trying to dig into the color red a lot as i was saying i've seen the color red before so to me the color red is the root chakra which is about balancing and keeping grounded and you know getting in touch with nature a little bit more as well it's feeling a little bit blocked so mm -hmm. you may find that you may be feeling a bit ungrounded you may be feeling a little bit out of balance or you may be thinking oh what's my next adventure or what am I going to do next or you know I don't want to you know as much as you love what you do you want something a little bit different that you can take with you during this business or this you know the stuff that you're doing I'm also getting something about and don't give me any info someone is teaching or someone is a teacher or something oh, someone's a teacher of something you know that is quite close to you um it's coming through and you're reading too because i feel like they are quite close to you has another job opportunity coming up too the loved one that's there is giving me the letter k and for some weird reason i'm now getting a lot to do with and this is going to sound really strange but this is how spirit does it for me they show me these things that i know that i can understand and i instantly just had this vision of kath and kim so then i go with the kath or something to do with kath because that name was first yeah so my mum's my mum's name's kathy oh there we go thank you <laughs> <laughs> oh my god the last one that's coming through is he must be coming okay there's a trip home. I feel like I just need to say there's a trip home or going back to potentially New Zealand or going back and getting into that, you know, family life and seeing family and visiting people. And I, I feel like your dad might, especially during this COVID time, he may be really missing some certain people yeah. over there right now. If you've got any more questions or anything, just shoot me through, let me know. Do you want to ask a question? <laughs> I'm not scared of it, but... <laughs> I know, it's like, what is the response? Wow. <laughs>
Thank you. That's no amazing. Worries. Thank you. I hope that helped. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for doing this. I really appreciate oh. it. I hope you have a lovely day. You too. Thank you so much. No worries. See you no later, worries. Joey. Bye. 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 Look at that. Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday. Um, sorry I didn't vlog after my reading yesterday. I was more so just, like, taking it all in. Also, I did, like, cut out a lot of stuff, obviously, that we spoke about because if it, it might have been too personal or, you know, just otherwise it would have been... Otherwise, it would have been far too long to include. But, wow, that was incredible. I will have all of Joey's links down below. I know a lot of people are probably going to be skeptical about this type of thing, which you're... Of course, you're welcome to be skeptical but I don't know I just was like how how do you know this and she like guessed my mum's name what my mum did as a job my brother's girlfriend her name and like things about my dad and I'm not sure who the NEV person is at this point because um, I don't actually know that much about my dad's side in terms of grandparents and stuff. Um, so we're kind of asking my dad to look into that because he's away at the moment. So I'm very, very curious to know who this Nev person is. But yeah, that was insane. It was just like comforting. It's comforting to know these things. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see you know if any of it comes true today uh it's currently 7 48 a.m i'm on my way to the hair salon to get my hair done um we actually have people i don't know if you guys have seen but like our stairs in the house are like raw like there's nothing on them like they've been like that for probably like a probably like a month at this point we've got people coming to kind of put the floorboards on them they arrived at like 6 a.m and because my my mum and dad are away at the moment so I'm like the one in charge of the household so I had to like let them in and stuff which is fine um but it's just yeah so now I'm on my way to the hair salon I brought with me a smart protein bar and I've got um I made my egg wrap and I've just kind of like wrapped it up so I can have that at the salon I've also got my like a portable my coffee mug my decor one and I've got um a sachet of the before you speak so I can I think they might have a kettle so I can literally just be like hey can you put some boiling water in here I'm like all prepared and I've got like some tea I'm set so yeah I'm very excited I'm also going to be doing a stacks giveaway on my Instagram page Donna Matilda reached out to me last night and they asked if I was interested in giveaway of the new collection i was like hell yeah that'll be probably by the time you guys see this vlog will be finished um but my hair has been growing super fast lately so yeah i'm listening to the crime junkie podcast because it's tuesday apparently my future boyfriend is gonna have a tattoo on his right arm have brown hair <laughs> do stuff with his hands all right i'll see you guys at the salon Okay, I've made it to the salon. I'm actually here super early. I'm like half an hour early. Um, and I'm actually going to eat my wrap that I brought, my egg wrap. Is there tissues in here? No. No tissues in the car. I would show you it, but it's not that cute. It's probably a good thing that I'm eating it now because eating in the, this in the salon would be quite messy. Still good though. I need to not get this on my shirt. Yum! I'm very glad I did not take that into the salon because there's like juice everywhere. So yeah, I've got my portable coffee and then I just popped in. I've got my Before You Speak sachet. I think from memory they have coffee and stuff so they should have a kettle. And then yeah, I've got my Smart Protein Bar. Try not to eat it in the first five minutes. It's like when you're in high school and you eat all of your lunch like in first break and then you don't have anything for second break and you feel mad at yourself. I'm the same when it comes to like bringing food with me. I'll eat it in the first like five minutes and then I'm like, great, now I'm gonna be hungry when we get back. Change the way I feel about you. I promise I will stay forever close to you. We go together, it's all I Please.
I just got done. Just got done at the salon. The reason why I got my hair done so soon, by the way, after like only kind of just getting it done, is because yeah, I've got a shoot on the Saturday, so I don't, I wouldn't normally get it done so soon after I got my hair done. So if you're like, oh my god, why did you get it done already? Because I've got the shoot. So I'm gonna head home now. It's one o'clock. I'm gonna have a smoothie when I get home and then probably shoot some content. So I want to get some Instagram stories. I want to try and utilize my hair while it's done. Um, hopefully the lighting is good because it's like 1 p.m. So I'm gonna pop on a counterclock podcast because I already listened to Crime Junkie on the way here. Um, I'm just trying to think if I need directions to get home because I didn't need them on the way here. I was pretty good. All right. My Apple Watch has arrived. I'm going to unbox it on camera for you. Oh, I'm so excited. And I just can't describe it. It is currently like three something, I think. <laughs> Why is it whenever you get an Apple product that it just hits different? It just does. Sorry if I'm a bit hyper. I just tried on all the new stack stuff and I'm so excited. Wow. And you guys are super excited for the watch as well. You're all like, give me a review. And I'm like, I got you, boo. Gotta get a little in. No, that's not it. I've had a bit too much caffeine today, I think. So beautiful. Why does Apple packaging, they just know how to do it, don't they? <laughs> so yeah, for recap, I got the Series 6 white watch. I like want to savor the packaging, but I also went right into it. Okay. Hmm? How funny is it that this is the watch? This little thing. <laughs> That's what she looks like. So I've got the silver. I think it's a little bit bigger than my other one. Or like not bigger, but I think the screen is different. What is that? Hello. I think that's instructions. I've got the charger. I'll pop this on charge. They just know how to make the packaging so satisfying. I need a charging brick. ASAP. Series six, this is the 40 millimeter because I've got small ass wrists for some reason. Like my wrists are ridiculously small, have been my whole life. So I, def I definitely didn't want to get like a big watch face. Um, okay, let me open the band because this is the like single band. So I got a size four. I hope it fits. I measured. Sexy. Okay, hopefully this fits properly. I'll be so sad if it does. <laughs> wow, look at that. Surely, come on, surely. It's very like, um, thin feeling. Hello, hello, hello. iPhone, Apple Watch. See, now I'm gonna have to like disconnect my other one. Okay, this is the boring part. I will come back to you when it's set up. <laughs> I've just like laid out all the active wear for my giveaway shot and I don't know how I'm gonna fit it all in. I'm planning on sitting like here. And I came upstairs and my cat was like sitting in the middle of everything. And I was like, oi, get off. Hard to make it look all nice and pretty, but I think that looks all right. Let's see how this goes. Rightio, don't you think, no. Oh wait, you've had your dinner. Good morning guys, it is Wednesday today. Um, it's almost 7 a.m. doing a 7 a.m. class. We're gonna test out this bad boy. Also, I just really wanna mention, I've been getting a few comments saying how I'm like obsessed with calories and how many calories I burn. And I understand like why it's coming across that way, but it was almost like it became my thing to like just tell you after my workout, like how many calories I burn. So I'm so sorry if it's been triggering for any of you, like that was not my intention whatsoever i definitely need to be more mindful when i'm talking about calories because it is triggering to some people and i need to not talk about it so like willy-nilly all the time but the reason i do talk about it is from a fitness point of view if you under get what i mean but i understand and i'm so sorry and i never want to offend people or trigger people that's not my intention so there's also the other half of it where i get questions from people asking specifically about calories macros etc so i guess i've got to find that like balance what's the time it's 6 55 a.m i've got bcaa's i don't have i didn't have oxy shred today i'm also just wearing a t-shirt i haven't worn a t-shirt to the gym in so long i'm gonna go to aldi after the gym today and then pick up a few things and then go home i need to take a photo for the giveaway it is gym time let's i feel like i have something else. oh and then this afternoon i'm getting my eyebrows done yeah <laughs> holy that 
that was one of the hardest sessions I have done in a very long time. Oh my gosh. Wow, I'm dying. It's because they're kind of doing like back to normal F45 classes now. So it's almost like harder. So I'm like dying. Wow, that was really good. Oh, I love this so much more than the other one. The only thing I will say, hang on, let me turn off my car. I should have got a smaller band size. I've got really skinny wrists, as I've said, and the four like fits me, but like when I sweat and stuff, it kind of like falls down, which is kind of a bummer because I think I'm gonna have to invest in a smaller size. I don't know if I'm gonna get it off eBay or the Apple Store, we'll see. But yeah, if you think you have like my wrist size, I would go the three <laughs> because yeah, it's a little bit too big and I kept kind of having to like make sure it wasn't slipping down my wrist. Anyway, I sweat like a mofo on that one. Like I would wash my hair normally, the amount of sweat, but since I got it done yesterday, I don't want to wash it. <laughs> as disgusting as that is, but oh, let's go to Aldi, shall we? Okay, so quick little grocery haul. I got some zucchinis, because I love zucchinis. I got some lettuce. Some Chobani Greek yogurt. That is my shaker. Some eggs. Pop this away when I shower because I'm sweaty. And then I'm going to probably make my breakfast. I'm going to make protein pancakes. It's now about 12 o'clock. I kind of had like a big, not a big rant. Rant's not the right word, but just a conversation on my Instagram. Um, just kind of about some comments that I've been getting lately, which is kind of what I touched on before when I was at the gym. So yeah, I might go more into it in this vlog, but I'm like a bit emotionally exhausted at the moment. So <laughs> I'm just gonna open some PR that I was very kindly sent. I just finished taking my um, photo for the stacks giveaway. And it actually looks quite good. It looks so funny with me like sitting in all the active wear. Oh my god, cookies! This is from John Frieda and it's like breast cancer awareness. That is amazing. There's cookies in here. Love yourself, check yourself. Oh my gosh. There's like a little card about um, statistics about breast cancer in Australia. Oh, what a beautiful package. That is incredible. I'll put this here if you want to like pause it and have a little read. It's obviously super important. And they've sent all these little cookies. Oh, beautiful. And then we've also got a little extra strength serum frizzies for thick, coarse hair. Might actually give this to my mom because she has very thick, coarse hair. That's incredible. Oh, we've got check your boobs, breast cancer. Oh, beautiful. Thank you so much. And then this one's from Frank Body. What do we have here? Drop it like you're hot. Is that a sticker? <gasps> Stop. I don't know if it's a sticker or not. I don't think it's a sticker. <laughs> Ooh, but first, coffee introducing the new Perky Sculpting Body Hydrator and Booty Drops. What? Oh my gosh. Oh no, they didn't. How cute. They've got a little, is this way, why is this so heavy? Is the product in here? Surely. Yeah, okay. That, <laughs> I thought this was a coffee cup. That is adorable. That smells incredible. Oh, that is like ice cream. I'm in Noosa right now, getting gelato on like an evening with the family. That is the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Here's me thinking it's like an actual coffee cup. That's so cute. Thank you so much. And then we've got this. So this is the cream. What is this? So yeah, this is like a moisturizer. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to use this. And then we've got the booty drops which say squeeze three to four drops into your moisturizer or use directly on dry skin. So it's kind of like an oil. Oh, that smells like coffee. Exactly like coffee. Stunning. Oh, yum. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so the time is now 4.25. I've just driven to get my brows laminated. I come to see Brooklyn Collective. I'm obsessed with getting my brows laminated. It's like my favorite thing ever. It just makes them more fluffy. I just want to like, yeah, reiterate again. I'm getting all this stuff done in this week for my photo shoot on Saturday. This is not a normal week for me. Like I don't get my brows done every single week or even. Um, yeah, so this is the before. I'll show you. I probably won't get them tinted like too, too dark. Just because, just because I don't want them like too dark for the shoot. Um, I also took off my tan. I actually did it in like record timing. Like normally it takes me forever to scrub off my tan, but I did it pretty quickly. I probably did it in like half an hour. Nothing can ever change. 
Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I look crazy because I haven't like washed my brows yet, so they're still like up high. But I'm about to go get a lash lift. Freya's coming with me because she's gonna get her teeth whitened as well. Um, it's currently just about to turn 9 a.m. We're gonna leave in a second. I need to get petrol on the way. And then tonight I will definitely be popping on a tan. And then for the rest of the day, I'm not sure what I'll get up to. Might just chill out. I think I need to go for a walk just for my mental health. And I'm also gonna announce the stacks, the winner of the stacks giveaway, which my post, oh my gosh. I've never really done a giveaway like this before. The post has like, let me check. It's insane. <laughs> I'm not picking the winner, by the way. Don and Matilda, who are the owners of Stax, I look crazy. They're going to pick the winner. The post was has 10,000 comments. 10,000. And like my DMs are just full of like you guys tagging it in the stories, which is amazing. So very, very excited. And then yeah, tomorrow is the launch of the spring collection. Super exciting. I look crazy, I know. Oh, all right, let's go. I about you. Good morning guys, happy Friday. It is 8.50 a.m. I'm here very early, um, but that's all right. It's like I need to sit in my car beforehand. Now yeah, someone's parking directly next to me. Like I just need to do it. Don't know why, but it's a beautiful day today. The weather is really, really nice. Um, I didn't go to the gym yesterday just because I didn't want to. I'm excited because my parents are coming back today, so I haven't seen them in like two weeks. So I'm excited to like hang out with them and chat and stuff. Is I don't know if that seems lame, but I've missed them. And then I think I want to get some photos today, like some content. I need to wash my hair. Yeah, I don't know if I'll get up to anything exciting tonight. Um, I know it's a long weekend in Queensland at least, so Monday's a public holiday, so I don't know if people are gonna like if we're gonna do something on a Sunday. Who knows? I'm very happy to stay in and not go anywhere. I'm well, I like going out, but I also love staying in and like like not doing anything and just chilling out. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm wearing the Stax collection. I'm actually, I'm gonna see how this goes. This may be a bad idea, but I'm wearing the strappy crop um, from Stax, which is less supportive, obviously, because it's like a strappy crop and it's cardio today. But I really wanted to wear the new collection because it like launches today. So I've got the yellow bike shorts on and then the blue and then like the blue crop. So we'll see. <laughs> Um, I'm, I feel like it'll be all right. I may regret my decision, but yeah. I've got about 102 bobby pins in my hair. I've got some BCAAs. I've had a coffee this morning. Feeling pretty good. I'll talk to you guys after the gym and I'm probably gonna be super sweaty because I'm pretty sure today is varsity and I think we're, we're doing like normal F45 classes. So it's insane. 23 degrees right now. It's gonna be hot. Anyway, catch you after. Oh my gosh, look how much I'm sweating. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good workout. Okay, I am gonna head home now, have a shower, wash my hair. And then I don't know what I want for breakfast. I'm thinking either smoothie, pancakes, or like eggs. I don't know. Oh my God, the vein in my forehead. <laughs> I just made my big salad and packed it for lunch because the time is 7.50. I've got my shoot thing today. I keep saying like shoot thing because I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing. I know sort of, but like not really. And like I've, ow, I've got no idea what I'm doing. So my skin, I was stupid enough. Out of all the times to do it, I picked my face last night. So now I've got like, you know, not the greatest skin and I've got a bloody shoot thing today, but that's all right. So I'm gonna pop on some makeup. Um, obviously not do my hair because it's gonna be like hair stuff. I'm really excited actually. So I'll just show you when I'm gonna do the makeup that I wear like on a day-to-day -day basis, pretty much I think. I'm just having a coffee. I had a boiled egg up there before. Um, I'm gonna have a smoothie with me for breakfast on the way, but we've run out of almond milk, haven't we? So I'm gonna need to go pop into like the IGA or something to grab some. I also need to pick up go to Kmart and get um, a nude strapless bra because I don't own one of those and Freya was going to lend me hers but I tried it on and it didn't fit so that's what I'm going to do. My call time is 11 it's so it's 7.50. I usually allow an hour and a half to get there because I like to be on time. I'd rather be early and then than late so I think I might leave just before then because it's a Saturday as well and it's school holidays. I want to make sure I can get a park. I just like having time. I hate being rushed so I was also instructed to wash my hair last night or yesterday and let it air dry, which I have.
It's too late now to turn around and back again. I made my bed and now I lay my head in it. Okay, so I'm at Kmart now. Oh gosh, I look all sorts of mess. So yeah, I'm gonna run into Kmart and grab a, a nude strapless bra. So let's do that. Bloody hell. It's... All right, so that was a waste of time. Didn't have my size like at all. They had a 14C, I think. And I was like thinking, oh, and then they had a 14B and I was like, maybe that'll work. So I've just messaged um, Rody saying, do I need the bra? Like, I don't really wear one 99% of the time anyway. And I've got nipple covers on. And she's just said that's all right. So we're good there. That was a waste of time. Um, I'll see you at the salon. <laughs> okay, so I've made it to the salon. It took me a little bit longer to find a park because it is a Saturday. I think I'm going to wear these heels. I brought two pairs because I've got these ones as well. I think I'll do the non-shiny. Let's go do this, shall we? I'm sorry I'm not perfect, but I know. It's for the best, you know the worst in me. I'm no good at being good, but I never said I was. And I feel misunderstood, cause I'm trying hard to love. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my actions, they haunt me. Okay, I just got done from the shoot. That was so much fun. I had no idea what I was doing. Like posing in front of someone taking your photo like that is very hard. I've got, I'm gonna have my salad now. Should we do like a mukbang? But I don't know what to talk about. That was so fun. Oh my God, I can't wait to see the images. The time is one o'clock. So I wasn't there for too long, for like three-ish hours. That was so cool. I'm gonna eat my salad that I'm very excited for. It's like my giant salad fork in there and then I put the cheese it's probably gonna come out in one clump because I thought it would be better to like sprinkle it over you'd not get it on my white shirt either wow bit of a time lapse yum where's my phone all right sweetie we'll see you when you get home Oh, look at that, low battery. Good afternoon, guys. Happy Sunday. It is 3.14 in the afternoon and I haven't vlogged today just because I'm taking it fairly chill. Um, I went to the shops with my mum. Um, I've just been editing the weekly vlog. I'm gonna do my cauliflower smoothie recipe. thick alrighty guys so that completes this weekly vlog I hope you did enjoy it today's Monday as I'm filming this because I forgot to end it off but yeah thank you guys so much for watching me I appreciate every single one of you and as always I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are in the world and I'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>